Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a pairwise binomial test uh, after Pearson chi-square goodness of fit using R specifically R studio. Uh, I'll be using an example, so I'll first load my data which I stored as a CSV file and that's actually something that contains two variables but the only one we're interested in is the marital st uh, status or variable. I'm going to be storing that under my frequency as a data frame uh, from a table. So that's the first thing to do. And then you need to actually, uh, so by pressing Ctrl Enter, it loads it up in the console. Then uh, all possible combinations of these. Uh, so that can be done with the combine n and then the variable and all two, so all pairs then the frequency and I can actually show you what that might look like Comp. so now as you can see it has divorced and married, divorced and never married, divorced and separated etc and up till separated versus uh, widowed now all the possible frequencies of these combinations can be done with a data frame T for transpose and then again the combinations but now based on the frequencies itself and I'll also show you what that then actually looks like so now we have um, so the first pair has uh, the first one which was actually this divorced has a frequency of 314 and married has a frequency of 972 now we actually need these two added up with each other so that can be done by simply adding the two so let's load this one in and now come to will actually be showing or having added now the pair n so that's this one plus that one equals this one now we can use the apply function to actually perform the binomial test on each of them and we're only interested in the significance uh, level so uh, let's add that one in my combined two frame as well as you can see it now nicely has all the significance um, we need to adjust for this because we're doing multiple testing and the bond for only is simply the number of pairs that you actually have um, and then uh, multiply the significance by that so the number of pairs is the same as the dimensions and we can simply now actually add the adjusted significance so com2 now nicely shows the adjusted significance which is simply this one, all of these multiplied by 10 in this case then to show all the results um, I actually need to convert some stuff to a data frame and then use cbind to actually combine the two results and then that will actually give me too much because comb is actually a list so I need to figure out what's the last uh, row and then actually remove everything from the 11 till the 20th and now if I show you the results uh, oh sorry if I do this one it nicely shows the results Divor uh, diverse diverse divorced divorced and let me just save it as a frame as well and now if I show results it should actually work slightly better so I've divorced versus married 314 in divorced uh, sorry actually in uh, married no divorced uh, 972 in married that gives a total of 1286 uh, that's a very low significance and also even adjusted it's still very very low so that means that these two are significantly different from each other even after applying a bond for only correction uh, looking at all of these they all seem to be significant so uh, all of the possible uh, values for each category was significantly different from the others and that's all there is if you have a faster way of doing this please let me know because uh, R is not my uh, strongest uh, suit of uh, software so um, perhaps there's a faster way of doing it but hopefully this was helpful 